Greg Bakos. I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. I'm biking across the country and started in Bar Harbor, Maine, going to Oregon. Just totally planning my route as I go, just totally open-ended. I have no time frame. Stopping and working as I as I need to, and just if I see something that I want to experience more of, I'll just stay in that area and just keep going. Well, it's just something that I've wanted to do since high school, and this is the time of my life where I have no obligations to be anywhere at any time, and just this is when I want to do it. So I'm doing it now, and I've wanted to see the whole country and just experience it in this manner because it's one of the most affordable ways to do it, and most experience, just heavy ways to do it. So I'm loving it. Been a few people that I've met, um, particularly a farm in Vermont called Small Axe Farms, and they've they bought their own land and built their house just from timbers that they cut down on the property, and they totally sustain themselves um, with a small farming business that they have. They sell the co-ops. CSAs and restaurants and it just has inspired me a lot and I just I look for people like that as I'm biking because I want to learn how to operate in that in that form of life and just seeing as many of those types of people and operations ongoing it just has been really inspiring to me and that's something that I look for as I travel and I really benefit from being around those types of people because they just they egg me on in a way. They told me that the west coast of Michigan is beautiful and I had no idea so I'm just... Stay on the coast. Just eh? gonna stay on the coast now. That's awesome. It's, it's been great. About 50 or 60 miles a day on average. My longest ride was 100 miles. Um, I'm hoping to get to where I can do 100 mile days back to back and that's part of just motivating myself from the inside internally. Um, something I'm learning how to do. Well. I'd say one of my biggest challenges is just loneliness, just not having anyone um, there with me. Um, but it's something that I've learned to deal with and just be okay with because that's where I'm at. Um, and also just another big challenge for me is just um, motivating myself internally as opposed to being motivated by external sources. So that's something I'm still working through. but. Um, I, I feel like I'm definitely getting better at it. You know, I can't really say that it's changed me a whole lot. It's something that's been in my mind to do for a long time, and so it's just more of a fulfillment than a, than a change. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I just hope that it creates more of a disciplined, um, internal motivation-oriented side of me. Um, 